Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Every element of a group has exactly one inverse. Now, a fact regarding groups that we've already proven is the cancellation loss. And this is what the cancellation laws say. Suppose G is a group and A, B, and C are elements of G. If A, B equals A, C, then B is equal to C. If B, A is equal to C, A, then B is equal to C. Okay, so now let's get to proving this theorem. So to start out the proof, let's say that we have a group G with identity E. And the goal is to prove that every element of G has exactly one inverse. Well, we know that every element of G has an inverse. That comes from the definition of a group. But we want to prove that every element of G has exactly one inverse. Well, since we're trying to prove a statement about every element of G, let's consider an arbitrary element of G. I'll call it A. And we want to show that A has exactly one inverse. Well, let's suppose that A has two inverses. I'll call them B and C. The whole goal is to prove that B is equal to C. That will prove that A has exactly one inverse. Well, by definition of inverse, to say that B is an inverse of A means that AB is equal to E, which is equal to BA. Similarly, since C is an inverse of A, this means that AC is equal to E, which is equal to CA. And so we see that AB is equal to E, which is equal to AC. Therefore, AB is equal to AC. And by the cancellation law, this implies that B is equal to C. And so we've shown that B is equal to C, which means that A has exactly one inverse. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.